Hey everybody, it's Bill and Russ, and we're back down together today at the Cape Fear River. Um, this is a little spot, obviously, we're bank fishing, and uh, we got some eel we picked up from the bait shop. They were kind of small and skinny though, but we're trying that, and then we also had a couple of shad, gizzard shad. I ran into Travis <laughs> down at the at the shad catching spot with the net and he was already there uh, getting his shad for his tournament this weekend so he gave us a couple and uh, so we got some shad we got some chicken meat with garlic and we got some uh, eel that's cut ch into chunks so anyway stick around let's see if we do any good for reference on this rod i've got the eel chunk and then that rod i've got a, a shad head gizzard shad head and Russ, you've got eel on yours? Yeah, sure do. He's got eel eel chunks on his down there. This this current is running really strong through here today. Really strong and through the wind here. Today. Help because the wind's pushing the water in the same direction. Yeah, the wind's blowing a little bit too, as you can see. There is. Whatever it was had the double fin. Oh, well, white perch have those too. Like a small fin. Oh, there's a little turtle. <laughs> uh, that's probably why they're all jumping around. Little teeny, little little one right there. Right at the, see him right against, literally, he's oh, hanging yeah. on the yeah, side of the. Yeah, he's wanting out of the water. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Dude, yeah. you need to come over here and I climb. guess you guys can see down there, see what Russ is talking about, all those little fish down in there. We reckon they're either shiners or little thread fin shad or something like that, probably. I guess There's some decent sized ones down near the bottom. Yeah. They like finger size. Oi. Yep. Well, oh, there he goes. There he went bye bye. <laughs> we probably in there feeding on them little minnows. Could be. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. There we go. It ain't much. It's a little channel, I think. Yep. We did not get skunked today. Pretty little channel. Pretty little channel, yeah. All right. Good eye, Russ. We was just talking, not even paying attention. So we, we answered that question. Channel cats do like eel.
and people worry about size of hook. Now that little channel cat right there, this is a nine-odd hook. <laughs> nine-odd circle hook. Nine-odd circle hook caught this little channel cat. So don't let people tell you that you can't use big hooks. There you go. He's a little dirty. But uh, little channel cat, we did not get skunked today. Woohoo! <laughs> There's a spy Jim dropping right straight down in there. Yeah. We'll put him right back over here. Not worried. Come on now. There you go, buddy. Take off. He went home. He was delighted to swim off. Well, I guess that one channel cat was all it was meant to be today. But at least me and Russ got to get out and get some fresh air and enjoy the fairly decent day, wasn't it? Yeah, other it was. other, it was a other good than day. the wind gusts were kind of cold when they hit you, but otherwise it was a real pretty day. Good day to get out and just try. Right? You can't catch anything if you don't try. Can't catch nothing sitting on your couch. That's right. So anyway, it's a decent enough day. We got something. We didn't get skunked, so we didn't waste our time completely. And hopefully I'll be able to make something, some kind of video out of this for you and get it uploaded. But, uh, I don't Bill, know of a better way to waste time than going fishing. That's right. So, so long from Bill and Russ at the Cape Fear River, and we'll see you next time, folks. Thank you.